Oh, baby, we are running, running, running. Okay, so in yesterday's video, we talked about exactly the scenario. What if Samoyed coin needs to break above point zero one? What happens now? We had a wonderful close above this daily SR, above our point five, and now we're retesting the 12 and 21. Let me zoom into the four hour, and that to me is a break of this little pattern thing that again, I don't use patterns, but if you look at my momentum indicator, we are back into the green. That's awesome. If I pull up uh, Monday's high, so we have Monday's high approaching us. We have to get above these this this level right here. If Samoya coin can get above this box, it's literally off to the races, price discovery. I am bullish. We're going to 0 0.1017, right? That That is the scenario that we're looking for. And that is exactly what we want. The next key big area of support would be probably somewhere right here where we had that big pump after the China stuff. So 0 0.13. And that just so happens to be the mid range, right? Of, let me clear up this chart because it's probably a little confusing for you guys. Um, mid range of this high time frame range. Look, boom, almost the mid range. So again, it's extremely important for Samoya coin to continue to break our resistance levels. To me, it's very possible for us to get this high, take it out, get back inside. So one scenario is this, take it out, take the liquidity out, get back inside and it's over, bye bye. Other scenario is take it out and just blow past it, come tag this, this support, this high time frame support, potentially consolidate for another move and then up to the races before to take out that range high. That is the bullish scenario, and that is the bearish scenario for some weird coin. This video is super short because I do have to head out to some dinner plans, you know, your boy. Um, and the daily stochastic RSI did get that cross. We got a green dot print money flow on the daily time frame, still pretty active. Looking at the four hour, we are still in the green. That RSI, that, that VWAT wave is starting to get that curvature down, which is not what we necessarily want to see. But again, this is an indicator and this is a lagging one. So you want to do price action first then indicators. And the stochastic RSI getting to that high again, we could see right last time we had the stochastic RSI at a high and a high time and a, and a high time from area resistance, we kind of flushed out a bit before we did some like chopping sideways stuff, except now we're breaking this trend, this trend line, right? We're making the move up, approaching high time frame resistance. We have your monthly 12 and 21 at 0 0.0107. And those equal highs that we barely tagged before we dumped a little bit and consolidated, right? So consolidation, this is potentially the move. Samoya coin, let's see if you got it in us. All right, guys. Oh, I forgot to mention the sub stack. I'll talk about it on the next video. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.